Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today I have the pleasure to present you my favorite scent from my whole collection. It's a perfume from Xerzhov, as you can tell from this logo in here, and it's called Alexandria 2. I have this since a while and I thought maybe now it's time to make a review. So if you would like to learn more about this monster from uh, Xerzhov, please stay tuned. Alexandria 2 is a unisex perfume launched by Xerzhov from uh, Italy, so the famous niche house, which was founded by Sergio Momo, that's why it's called Xerzhov. And this was released in 2012. Uh, until 2020, I wasn't very much into perfumery, so unfortunately I discovered this one very late. But once I discovered it, I was just blasted away how beautiful, how strong, how complex, how special this scent is. The bottles from Xerzhov come in either 50 milliliter or 100. I have here the 100 milliliter, as you can see. This is the newer version without the Lilial. As you know, in Europe, um, Lilial has been considered as a toxic uh, ingredient. It can affect the productivity in men. So it has been banned since March last year. Uh, Lilial smells like lily of the valley and gives this nice flowery sweetness from the lily of the valley. And Xerzhov have been using this Lilial in Alexandria too, in, in uh, Naxos and I don't know, maybe also in others, but these two for sure, I know they had the Lilial. And this one here, which I have in here, um, does not have the Lilial version. And if you have um, followed these forums, Parfumo, Fragrantica, it is said that the reformulations without the Lilial are not so powerful. I uh, kindly disagree. This perfume without Lilial is an absolute monster. So I have a lot of perfumes in my collection. I have uh, Ombre Nomad, I have other powerful uh, scents and none of them is so powerful as this. So yes, you heard right. This Alexandria 2 is more powerful than Ombre Nomad, at least for my nose, for my experience. Maybe there will be some experts somewhere saying, ah no, the other one has some extra longevity. I don't know. This one is for me a monster. So let me read a bit uh, from, uh, from the Xerzhov website. This is inspired by the ancient Arabian art of perfumery. Alexandria too is a scent steeped in history and rich culture. I have not been yet in the Arabic world. I don't know how the souk are smelling with all the spices and so on. But I, I think this is true. I think this smells very oriental, very special. And if you're not used with this uh, um, niche high perfumery, let's call it this way, this one at the beginning gives you this uh, impression that it smells like hair spray. Um, when I first had some samples of Alexandria too, I said, what is this? I don't like this. It smells like hairspray. Why would I be so crazy about a scent that smells like hairspray? But a perfume you need to experience, you need to give it a wear or two or ten, feel how it evolves to, to appreciate the ingredients. And I have not done this back in the day and I said, okay, this is not a perfume for me. But now, yes, it is a perfume for me. And I have here 100 milliliter, which they will uh, last me a lifetime because it's extremely powerful. And um, if I'm not mistaken, it's an extra de parfum. Even if extra de parfum usually does not have a ton of projection, this is an exception from the rule. It has projection, it has longevity. And uh, I tell you all of these things truly and honestly, because this is how I think. This is not a sponsored video. I didn't get this from uh, Xerzhov. I actually purchased this one from All Beauty from UK. 
they also didn't sponsor but just saying so uh, next Alexandria 2 opens with the fruity hints of apple that meet floral lavender and rosewood. It leads into a classically oriental heart cedarwood, lily of the valley and Bulgarian rose. This is inspired by the thousand year old capital city. Alexandria 2 from Xerzhov has warming base notes of amber, sandalwood and precious Laotian wood. I will now spray on the hand because I like it very much and I don't want to waste this scent on the tester. Look at this guys. Look at this. This released like half the bottle. So the sprayer is great and it's so oily. Literally this, this is so oily and the sprayer is so powerful. Just one spray. Pwah, it's crazy powerful in here I can assure you that now my whole 20 square meter room in here I think it's smelling like crazy this is a perfume which will make people notice you this is a loud powerful oriental here I am look at me type of scent it's not screaming necessarily but this is a perfume that will leave no one alive will leave no victims it will just take everyone by the throat and will say I am an oriental powerful Xerjov smell. In top notes you'll have lavender, rosewood, apple, cinnamon like they said in the description and they are so high quality that is, is crazy. You can literally uh, recognize all the scent, all the smells you can recognize in this powerful top note and the oiliness it's still here. Literally if you touch the skin you will feel that you have like a layer of oil it has a lot of um, perfume oil this one here yes like i said it has the extra de parfum concentration 71 percent alcohol so that means that around 29 percent are perfume oil and some water so it's very very concentrated in heart notes you'll have bulgarian rose cedarwood and lily of the valley this is the lily of the valley note which is the replaced lilial and to my nose there is no difference from how it was before it's the same beautiful complex oriental strong in rose but strong in wood scent which just makes me crazy this is like my most favorite scent on the market right now and from my collection and in base notes you'll have amber Laotian wood, sandalwood, Thai wood, musk and vanilla. The perfumer behind this is his name is Chris Maurice or Christian Carbonel. This guy uh, created a lot of Xerge of creations. So this one too, which is a winner for the brand. If I'm not mistaken, this is the one of the best sellers for Xerge of after Naxos. With Naxos is a very weird story because Naxos, it was very nice and powerful in the past, but not anymore. And before Naxos arrived on the market, there was this pure Havan from Mugler, which they were smelling quite similar. And pure Havan was discontinued, who knows why. And Naxos goes ahead and uh, grows in price with almost every month. Now it's like 245 euro or something. So back to Alexandria too. This is a monster. This is the definition of a monster. It will last the whole day and some more. It will project everywhere. With two sprays, you fill a room. Literally, you go in a room and you fill it with your scent. So this is a room filler scent, if you want. It is crazy expensive, but what is good and high quality in our world and is not expensive uh, so this is a niche, very expensive, extra de parfum scent, which is very loved and very desired. So of course, this will bring the prices up. Now, uh, Xerjov wants around 300 euro for a 50 milliliter bottle. This here is the 100 milliliter bottle, and this will um, cost you between 500 to 550 euro if you want to purchase one this will cost you between 500 to 550 and to be honest um, i think it's great 
I think it's very long lasting, but I think it's slightly overpriced. Smell is perfect. The smell is really well done and with, will just charm you. So if you have the chance to try Alexandria 2, give it a try, but be aware that you might love it and then you'll want a bottle and it's crazy expensive. So for this, I have some alternatives for you. I will uh, put the bottles uh, here on the screen. The first alternative is Tiziana Terenzi Burdel, which I tested and I think they smell quite similar and the price is very affordable for the 100 ml from Tiziana Terenzi it will be between 160 to 200 euro depending where you find it. So that's the price that I have seen lately. And there is another one from the house of Ormond Jane, which is called Xandria. So they don't even want to hide the fact that that one is very much inspired by this one, Xandria. That one, uh, honestly, I have not tested. I don't know if it's really like this one, but on Parfumo and Fragrantica, they are uh, similar in terms of notes, in terms of name, and in terms of what that scent would like to be. And that is a 50 milliliter bottle, which cost 150 euro. So, or your equivalent where you are in the world. So I guess if it's even slightly similar with Alexandria 2 and you don't want to pay the surge of crazy premium, then you can give that one a try. I will give you now the rating for this scent. In my opinion, this scent is a 10 out of 10. This is the first time I give a 10 out of 10 to a scent and Alexandria 2 from Sergeov deserves this. Even if it's very expensive, overpriced, you can call it how you want to call it. It's a great scent. It has the niche quality to charge you this much money. It is extremely powerful. It will last very long and you get the surge of quality. This is my take on Alexandria 2. This is uh, my favorite scent from Xerge of and my favorite scent from all the perfumes I have at home. Please let me know what do you think about this and if you have tried it or you would like to try it in the future and i hope to see you soon on the channel again stay healthy and thank you for watching bye bye